to the channel. This video is going to cover some a completion of the cabinet painting in the trailer and it's also going to take care of a shelf installation that we did inside of the large cabinet above our dinette. There's also a few touches on a cool little shelf on the pass-through wall from the master to the living room, <laughs> if you will. Uh, and also even a little touch on what I did around the door. So uh, hang in there if you get bored, uh, just, just hold your breath for a few seconds and I'll probably hop to something else. So there's, there's a lot of bouncing around. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. But yes, our God is great. Uh, I have done the trim in the bathroom and I uh, went ahead and started this. Brandon's still gonna do some work in there. He needs that, that panel open. So, um, yeah, I'm kinda at a standstill a little bit on that. So I thought, oh, what the heck, just paint. Back to my comfort zone. Uh, actually, I love woodworking. I just, uh, it was a little complicated with the different challenges. Sure. So, at any rate, things are getting done. Um, the painting is going well, as you can see. It definitely takes multiple coats, but that's to be expected. Hey guys, I'm back at you in the trailer working on the painting the cabinetry or finishing painting the cabinetry. Um, that's about going to be it for what I plan, at least at this point in time, uh, to paint. So as you know, I did all of the upper cabinets and for the kitchen, the lower cabinets for the kitchen, and of course down to the bathroom cabinet and our beautiful medicine cabinet, which I did not paint, but I do have a video on the installation of that. And that's pretty special. If you plan to install anything um, heavy like that, I did some, I dare say I did some pretty good work um, and thought of some things that maybe not everybody would think of for extra bracing and support on that so anyways check out that video if you're interested in how to install something heavy on the wall in your trailer so uh here is the status of the upper cabinets above the dinette uh the doors are off they're in the garage getting painted and the shelf is not done it's just hanging out there for now um the paint sticking to the brackets i'm going to add a bracket down there and also it's going to have a lip on the front i'm going to rip down a piece of trim uh, to cover the front so that it looks really nice and finished and also it will be raised above the shelf itself so that as we're driving it it things stay in place or at least that's the plan i'm gonna finish that up after i get this uh, little panel back in it's off right now because Brandon's going to need access to it. Huh, thought that was wet. It's just dry enough. Um, 
Brandon's going to do some electrical work here. He's going to run a 12 volt wire to the upper bunk so that both bunks have power for kids to charge their phones because they have to charge their phones. Uh, can't blame them for that. We like our phones charged too. So that's where we're at right now. It's coming along and I'm thinking today is probably the last day of paint. Um, it's been a slow process, but not really. It's just that I broke it up over, you know, the different rooms uh, in the trailer. So that's it. Alrighty, here in the garage. Uh, we've got the cabinet doors going on. They, uh, obviously the paint needs several coats. Uh, this is the inside of the door, so it's by all means not, not my best work. Uh, just getting a, you know, a good solid color on there. Um, since it's gonna be inside the cabinets, it's not really that important how perfect the paint job is. Uh, but I'm gonna do the back first so I can flip it over pretty quickly and uh, paint the tops. If you don't have these, they're really cool. Um, I bought like a little, uh, looks like eight pack. Um, somehow, some way, the point on them is just sharp enough uh, to set underneath freshly painted wood so you can flip it, stuff that you need to paint on both sides. So obviously, if you have a opportunity, use them on the back. So I'm gonna paint, like I said, got the paint back. Blah, 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 blah. Backs painted first, that's it. Uh, and then I'm gonna flip them over, set four of these underneath them and paint the tops. Cause the tops are gonna need a pretty good amount of time to get, you know, the good solid coats on it. So that's the doors. Uh, I'm gonna get to work cutting that trim piece and kind of get that dry fitted and ready so that I can put it on once Brandon's done with the wiring. So that's it. could really use some more but I'm calling that good I'm getting very low on my one gallon of paint that I bought for the trailer and I definitely want to have some for touch-ups because hello white cabinets three kids three dogs myself let's face it we all kick cabinets by accident you know do something so I definitely want some for touch-up and uh, so I'm gonna flip those doors over and get a good coat of paint well probably three uh, coats uh on the fronts and as they dry i will get their hardware back on and soon get them back in the trailer <laughs> Painting with semi-gloss is a real pain in the rear. Uh, it's especially on a material like this that the uh, adhesion level is low. You know, you go over it, you think you're doing good, and then it's like, oh, there's one little thing, and you go over it and it's dried just enough to where it just breaks the paint off and makes these really thick brush strokes. So um, I've just come to accept that there will be brush strokes and all right i'm excited i get to use the nail gun again i really love pneumatic tools so i've got my trim piece cut 
and ready for installation. Uh, the board for the shelf is actually warped, so I'm going to use the trim board to straighten it out. So I'm going to start at one end, uh, put a little bit of uh, wood glue on the front or back of one of the other pieces, I'm not sure which yet, uh, and just kind of start on one end and work my way down. I'm going to use a paint stir stick to get the right lip on the top for it to overhang, you know? And then I will level it and add the additional bracket that needs to go there. I have not done that yet because I kind of screwed up and <sighs> did this. I kind of eyeballed it. I measured and then I had to move the bracket over top of my line of my mark of where to put it. And I was like, mm, yeah, that's good it was about an eighth inch too high. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing there. I may be filling those holes and painting them. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. That shelf should be pretty rigid by the time I get that front trim board on. So I may not need a bracket there. And I didn't like that one because it's not in the center of this space that's going to be open. Remember, the doors will be here on the sides, but this will be open with my seagrass baskets right there. So that's the plan, man. I just want to make sure that y'all know that your paint clothes can also work for wood glue. I'm kind of a messy, um, worker. <laughs> so anyways, oh, there sure it goes. Just like a two year old <laughs> or, or my 14 year old son also still just wipes his hands on his clothes. It's all good. There are worse things. So, okay, back at it. So far, they've all been in the center of the plywood, not above or below. That's pretty awesome. Ta-da! I still need to do my touch-up paint for uh, from the nails on the... What are we calling this? Would y'all please comment and tell me what this is called, this piece that's on the front. I was calling it a skirt. I've heard apron. Um, tell me what it's called. So I put screws in the underside of the brackets. They were, I was going to show you what they were. There was another one. I don't know where I went. Um, just your standard little metal brackets. But anyways, I put three tiny screws or two each uh, in the tops into the shelf. And then they each of course got the three in the bottom into the studs. Um, our clear containers here, which some of this stuff is still temporary, uh, but it's, I love these containers. Anyways, um, this is a little snug. It does fit, but, but I should have measured better. Um, so I'll probably just put stuff in it that we like never need, <laughs> but want to have, um, because it's all about display, right? I mean, how's it look? It looks great having one on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, so maybe like the little vacuum parts or I'm not sure yet. Um, so far, we really haven't had an issue with missing stuff. I mean, Brandon and I are both are like Boy Scout, Girl Scout, always have everything you could possibly need and more. But I have not found that we're lacking. It's really nice to just not have that much stuff. So that almost concludes the project. I'm going to go check on the doors and paintbrush is already wet. It's in the fridge. It's waiting for attention. So moving right along. I'm so excited. It's almost done. Well, it's done. I'm so excited. Finally, all the trailer cabinets that I want white are white. I'm very pleased with the look. Uh, I have a little touch up to do. 
I've got some pretty bad brush strokes on some areas that bother me. Only a little bit, but still figured I would clean it up. So there's our nice shelf with the apron, cleat, front, lip, edge, whatever you want to call it. But again, I would really love to know what you do call it. <laughs> uh, these baskets are empty. So I'll probably do like breads and chips and things in there when we travel. And I left this open and free for food before it was some storage for little things like the adhesives and all that good stuff. So I'm really happy with it. Um, let me know what you think. The only thing that's left in the original um, factory color are the master uh, cabinets, which of course I don't have the light on in here. But I think they look nice with the white shiplap that I did and I did that white. It was like a dark color of uh, factory wallpaper. Um, I personally think, sorry, the bed's not made all pretty. Um, but with the light colors and the white shiplap, I think that the cabinets look nice. So I think it'd be cool and really sleek if they were like navy blue or something, but they're not. So, and I did keep the factory valences in here. I was going to change them, going to cover them, going to take them off, going to do a different type of shade. But for now, I'm leaving them. Uh, they're neutral and I think they're fine. Um, and I'm kind of ready to just take a little break from the projects. Uh, it's been fun, but it's nice to be done sometimes. <laughs> so um, I think... I think I'm done. I'm excited. Uh, a couple little things, not paint related, uh, in the bunkhouse, I need to add a fan. The lower one gets really warm because there's a vent in the top one, but not the bottom. And that's it. I did want to show you one other thing, sort of kind of paint related. Uh, when I was doing the door trim, this door trim, which I may not have featured, I have to, I have to, I have to brag just a little bit. This, that is actually plywood that I cut with a jigsaw. There's a better angle you can kind of see. Uh, that I cut with a jigsaw to fit there on both sides because I wanted a really pretty real trim, wooden trim door, uh, just for no reason other than I wanted it. Uh, it, we don't have the cushion up here anymore, so it, it's a little more painful if you, you know, crash. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I did want to show you this. I added, I saw one of the other YouTubers do a shelf like this on this exact wall, and I could not be happier with this. I have used it so much. I did a little... Uh, cleat or skirt, uh, whatever you would call it, on both sides. If I'm going to show it, might as well show it good, huh? And I still am going to do, yes, I know I said I'm done, but I'm done painting. <laughs> uh, I, I ordered some curtain rod, something special for up here, a track that's different than what it came with so that I can actually put my own curtain up there. So we'll see about that. Another day, another video. But for the white paint, uh, that's a wrap. Finally. <laughs> Yay. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you. We would always love to hear from y'all. Um, shoot us some comments. What you think, what you like. Recommend places for us to go. Because, again, we've only gone to two places so far. Uh, we're just outside of San Antonio, Texas. So, um, nearby is good for now. Sorry, I think Brandon was absent from this video. But... Uh, he leaves the painting to me. <laughs> he does not care for it one bit. Anyways, uh, God bless, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.